This video is intended to give a brief introduction to the trapezoid rule, which instead of rectangles uses trapezoids to estimate the area under a curve. The area of a trapezoid is the height of the trapezoid divided by 2 times base 1 plus base 2. So we'll bring that up later when we go to look at how this works. We can, we're also going to see that the trapezoid rule is the average of the left hand and right hand rules. In other words, if we add up our left hand and right hand sums and divide it by 2, we get exactly the trapezoid rule. And we'll see why that is. So, we have our curve, and we're going to break it up into intervals just like we did before, all equally spaced. And we're going to use trapezoids to estimate the area under the curve. Now let's see where each of our pieces are going. So we zoom in on one of our trapezoids. Basically, it's a trapezoid laying on its side. So, when we go to find the area, the height of the trapezoid over 2, times base 1 plus base 2, well, let's think about what each of those pieces are. Our base 1 could be this left-hand side, which is represented with f of x1. Our base 2 could be this right-hand side, which we could represent with f of x2. Then our height is going to be the distance between x1 and x2, or x2 minus x1. Now, x2 minus x1 is the length of our interval, and you'll recall that the length of our interval is b minus a over n, which we call delta x. So this will give us the form for the trapezoid rule. 1 half times delta x times f of x1 plus f of x2. Now, so what we see here is we have delta x over 2 factored out, and then in the brackets we can see the bases of each trapezoid. Notice the overlap. We're going to combine those to get a nice condensed trapezoid rule. So all those overlapped sides get doubled. Notice the only ones that didn't get doubled were the very first and the very last because they're not a common side of two trapezoids. Now what we're going to do to turn the trapezoid rule into the average of the left hand and right hand rules, we're going to pull it back apart. Notice those doubled sides, what we're going to do is we're going to split those up and we're going to write them separately. And if you notice what I have on my top line, I have the left-hand rule. What I have on the bottom line is the right-hand rule. And both are getting multiplied by a half. So there's our average of the left-hand rule and the right-hand rule.